Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today we're going to talk about what does Paul Maurice have to do with investor relations. And if you've been following the Stanley Cup Finals, you know Paul Maurice is the head coach of the Stanley Cup winning Florida Panthers. And he had a great quote after winning the Stanley Cup and that we had to lose three games to win four. And I think this says a lot about leadership and one of the one of the three components of the Paul Maurice hat trick in terms of skills that an IRO needs to have. And that's leadership, experience and tenure, and finally, the situation and team that you inherit. And it's these three things that are going to determine your success as an IRO or if you're going to be best in class IRO in the situation you go to. So let's focus here on the leadership aspect, the first quality that, that Paul Maurice showed, especially with that quote. You know, they came back from, from winning three games, then losing three games, and won the final game to win the series. And the key here is that you have to be unflappable. And that's what this quote shows, is that Paul Maurice was able to keep the team even keel despite all of the adversity of the three losses in a row after being on the precipice of winning the Stanley Cup. And they were able to gain com keep composure and gain composure to finally win the series in Game 7. Number two, you have to be a relentless communicator as an IR person, just like Paul Maurice, the coach. He had to relentlessly communicate to his team to not give up, to keep focusing, to keep fighting, and keep sticking to their disciplines in order to be in Game 7. And number three, it's about being a coach. If you're a good or great investor relations officer, you have to be able to coach the C-suite and draw out the best in their performance. You have to be able to influence them to want to do better or change the way they act and interact with investors. And so finally, what are the key learnings here of a best-in-class IRO if you're an executive looking to hire one? And first, it's, is this person solid in a crisis and with difficult people? Can this person act the same and be as credible as they are when times are great if something bad happens to the company or if they're dealing with hedge funds who have that tire iron and want satisfaction? Number two, can they relentlessly communicate to make the story and the narrative around the company better? Are they able to interpret what investors are asking and saying and what the C-suite wants in order to simplify the narrative and optimize the narrative to unlock shareholder value? And number three, well, as I said before, does the IRO make the C-suite better? Can they be a utility player if something goes wrong in the C-suite? Or are they able to influence and convince the C-suite we need to change messaging, we need to change the narrative in order to unlock shareholder value? I guarantee you, if you find an IRO that can do the Paul Maurice hat trick and has great leadership, you will always unlock shareholder value over time. If you need help unlocking shareholder value, give me a call. Thanks for watching.